Right guys, we're back here with uh, Rugged Garage and uh, today we're just going to do a little wee recap on what we've got here. So this is my XC clutch uh, stage 2 and I've just recently got my uh, flywheel light in. Um, yeah, so that's that there. That's all my paperwork for it. So that can go over there. That's just my new throw out bearing. Alright, so I've got my pressure plate right here. So, that's my uh, stage 2 clutch right there. Nothing too fancy in my light and flywheel for my TUI. So, pretty basic stuff that's going to be chucked in very soon because I've got my pistons now. Uh, so, I'll show you them. As you can see, these are my stock pistons out of my motor that I built. Um, but I took them out because I needed to get them drilled. For my big cam so this is where it's all been drilled here that's for your secondary intake valve your 15 mil valve there so it's been drilled a little bit bigger two mil deep and uh the guy said it should be around about 90 thou or some something around there two mil or something like that so we got that all drilled and um so this is the 15 mil valve for the tui right there that little wee imprint right there was on the top of the pistons on my old motor so as you can see it's got plenty of movement so that that won't be any issue there and it's got the problem was was the small 15 mil valve was actually uh, catching on the way down the cam lobe was that big because it's the duration right it was actually coming down so fast that it was actually end up touching the piston on the downstroke so that was the issue there um, and so there will be a little bit of a compression loss with this piston but nothing too major because I've got the head decked and everything um, yeah so that will get whipped up pretty quick so now I've got almost everything to well I've got everything to put my motor together um, I'm also looking at doing a Gilmore drive if none of you guys know what that is I'll talk about it at the end of the video what you can see these are my stock pistons now these have been drilled out um, so originally it had a compression ratio of 9.5 to 1, that's your standard 2E motors, um, that's your carburetor ones so. though. And so yes, there will be a bit of a compression loss with this all drilled out. It's minute, you know, not not too much because it's already a high compression. And I've got my decked head that's been done. Um, so it was reasonably cheap. It cost me $400 for this at Blue Mac Engineering down in Henderson. And that's in Auckland if anybody wants to know. It cost $100 for them to make the jig up so they could do these. Uh, to e drilled out pistons right here. So I'm going to talk about the ways I could actually, you know, fully get the power of my cam with this motor. So as you can see it's all been, this is all hollowed out. Right, all that is compression loss. Same with this, but it's minute compared to that, right? Um, and yeah, it is a little bit thin there, it's 2 mil deep, but hey, it sure run. It's $50 motor, you know, who cares? Um, so my plans are eventually, if it runs good, no issues, if I want a bit more power, the best thing I could do with this motor is go to Ross Pistons down in Christchurch. They uh, make forged pistons, they don't make the forged rods, I'll get them done somewhere else, but he knows a guy who does that, they'll make the pistons for me, to bring up the compression ratio from a 9.5 to 1, to something a lot higher, um, I'm not sure on the specs of that, but I'll probably, I've talked to the guy, I haven't fully found out how much it's going to cost and all that yet. Probably, to be honest, it's looking around about 2500 for piston and rods built. It's pretty reasonable considering, you know, no one makes this sort of stuff for these motors. Um, so, this whole setup here, as you can see, this uh, gudgeon pin right here is the suppressed in fit, so they heat the rod up and it's got no. Uh, clips to hold in the wrist pin um, so it's alright but I can't get this lightened so that's the deal with that so 
the best move if I wanted to get everything lightened, even though they're looking pretty light already, like pretty skinny little bugger rod, but it's perfect for you know anyway. So I'll try it all out. That's my next move if it doesn't go as planned. But I'm going to whip this together, have some fun with it, uh, just enjoy all the money that I've spent on it. As you can see, this is a standard 2E motor right here. Um, so if you've seen the last video that i just done, this is all drilled out here. So that's been the issue here. And that little wee imprint on there, that ends up going and uh, marking the top of this. So that's why that was drilled out. Because uh, this valve is actually straight. It goes directly. And I don't know why it should have been on that side really. But it's alright. So I got that drilled out. So to compare what you got going, that's, that's the difference between my piston and my brother's. Uh, engine so on this motor so that, that that's the reason why my cam has been touching uh, the valve on it has been touching the motor was the cam was too big so that's why now we've got it drilled this should solve all the problems that I've been facing with the 2E motor this is really the only issue that I've actually had with it I've had no problems with the lifters they've been pretty solid um, even at uh, 9,000 RPMs. What we've got here is a 2E stock cam. Nothing fancy, right? It's just a general shitbox 2E cam. Uh, I don't actually know what duration these are. I don't really care to be honest. Um, so this is what my cam looks like. As you can see, the lobes on it are pretty monstrous. This has got a 10.1 uh, lift on it. And so your first intake valve, which is that one there, that valve there, that's a 292, right? And I'll show you what the other ones are. They're a bit different, the other ones. They're not like all the same. Um, that's because of the valve size and all the rest of the stuff uh, that goes into knowing what all these motors do. Um, so what we've got here... So this is the spec sheet on my cam. So what this means here, this means my big intake valve, right? That's my exhaust, right? So that's that. Then this one here is my secondary intake valve. Um, that's a 288. That's actually an 8. Um, and my intake valve is a 294, my exhaust is a 278, and so that's what you set with all your feeler gauges for your lifters. Um, that's talking about the lift and all that. That's your lobe separation between the exhaust and the intake. Then you go over to here, that's 18 degrees between your first and secondary intake. It's a TRD spec performance 5, which is pretty much all you want to have on the road. So, right guys, we're just going to compare um, these cams. So as you can see, right, that's the stock one here. This is the one I got built. So, if you compare the lobes on it, that's the stock one, right? See how the lobes here... So that's a short duration. So the wider they come out here, the longer the duration. Um, so as you can see, pretty pretty fat. So that's my secondary intake valve, and that's my first intake valve, and that's the when it talks about the 18 degrees. That's the difference between the and the second intake valve. So. Yeah, and I'll compare these lobes right there. As you can see, it's a little bit higher. The cam has been ground down, and all of this has been welded. And the cam guy said it was very hard. Uh, I paid $700 to get this done. 
uh, highly worth it. And he said the cam's got the type of metal it's made out of, made it really hard. Something about sulfur and all that in the metal. Um, that's why it's got little wee blotches and stuff. But none of that is going to really affect me. Um, I'm just going to run it regardless. What we're go going for us is this cam. So I'll be slapping all this, all the parts that I've recently got done and this new cam in my motor. Um, if you guys want to see a video of that, I'll happily chuck one up uh, of us rebuilding the motor. And we'll go through a few details that we talk about why I've done it specifically like that. I've made the compression a little bit higher. Um, that's just to boost it up a little bit because of NA power, you know. Um, so that's what I'm going to do there. If you want to see a video about that, just hit us up in the comments. If not, I'm just going to whip it together and get it going next weekend. So that's the goal. Um, and I recently discovered a 3E motor. It's pretty rare in New Zealand to find one. Uh, so I'm looking at buying one. Uh, so if I get that, the whole problem with my piston here um, touching the small valve would never be an issue again. But I don't want to go 3E. But I could chuck on the head. The only difference is that the pistons are a little bit bigger. The stroke's a bit longer. That's the only difference. Oh, and the small valve is actually, instead of 15, it's 21. If I'm going to go 1.5, heaps more power, heaps more torque. But I'm just going to get this done. And uh, I may even have buy another Corolla because it's so awesome. Uh, but I'll see. So my plans are, also for my motor, is that I'm going to do a Gilmore drive. It's sort of like a gear like this. It's pretty much a cam belt, but it goes on your water pump and on your alternator for a 2E motor uh, and then your harmonic balancer and it gives you a real nice sound and also you get no belt slip with it it's a little bit more expensive it's an awesome sound I just want to go with that with the ITBs I reckon it would be real iconic if you guys know about rotaries then you'll know about Gilmore drives because a lot of people put Gilmore Drive on rotaries, it's just a wicked sound. It sounds like a supercharger, to be honest. So that's my plans for that. They'll be getting done down in uh, Tauranga. And that that's, I've already got a price and a quote from the guy, so i just got to send down my stuff. It's around about $800 to get all that done, which is pretty reasonable. And then I have to buy about. So that's all right. I'll get all that done, get my engine whipped together and have some fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully uh, this uh, cam right here can handle the 9,000 RPM abuse, what it's going to get. That's what I'm going to rev it to uh, when I hate it. I'll rev it to pass that, probably looking at 10. I want to get to 10 and try it out. I don't know if this cam's capable of it or the lifters, but I'm going to push it to the limit because it's too a $50 motor. I'll just buy another one, right? And chuck all the parts in, good to go. Um, and... Also, thanks to all the subscribers that have been subscribing. Likes, they're awesome. Uh, it helps motivate me and my brother to finish off our cars. Uh, I'm almost getting there. So, if you guys want to see a video of my Corolla getting built, like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Um, yeah, it gets me motivated to go do all this stuff. Um, yeah, so, that's us.